Oh, he's an assistant principal, and tonight he's in jail. Chesapeake police arrested Brian Carter Sunday evening at a woman's home on Pond Lane for burglary and assault. He works at Indian River High School. Then on your side, Katie Collette spoke with parents about Carter's arrest. And what do they have to say, Katie? Tom, most parents I spoke with say it is a concern that an administrator capable of this alleged violence has been around children at the school. However, all say they will wait for the courts to determine if he's guilty or not before they pass judgment. Investigators say this all began Sunday when someone called 911 asking police to come to a home in this Plymouth Park neighborhood. They say it was a domestic dispute and a woman was assaulted and held against her will. The person arrested at the scene, Brian Carter, assistant principal of Indian River High School. That's pretty horrific there, you know. Mark Thompson lives across the street from the school. His son, Matt, graduated from there in 2005. I never heard of the guy myself, but we've never had anybody like that in our school, and I don't think we need one now. When the two heard Carter's charges, abduction, attempted robbery, burglary, and assault and battery, they were stunned. I wouldn't let him be a principal or even let him come close to a school, you know, because mm -hmm. if he is going to do that to somebody he was supposed to love, you know, what would he do to a kid if he got, you know, if a kid had to snap on him, what would he do? Yeah, you know, he's supposed to be out here supporting these children, but yet, you know, you go and do something like that. I mean, honestly, he needs to be off the streets and doesn't need to be around these great students here. Denise McDaniels has two daughters at Indian River High School. But I know it's a great school, though. The administration will not comment on Carter's arrest and will not go into detail about his current job status. McDaniels, though, is confident the school will do what is right when it learns if Carter is found guilty or not. And I've never had an issue with the school on any level where they did, weren't diligent with taking care of it. So. Carter is still in the Chesapeake jail on no bond. His court date is set for October 15th. Now, students tell me the halls of the high school buzzed today with news of Carter's arrest. What they have to say about their assistant principal and the charges he faces, new at 6. Katie Collette, 10 on your side.